That is on Facebook, that is on YouTube, and that is on Twitter on tonight. We would like to welcome everyone to our eight night online revival. Yes, eight nights, amen. <clears throat> Before we go any further, I'm gonna call on Pastor B. Sosi to lead us in a word of prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, to God be the glory. We just wanna welcome everyone and just give God the glory as we honor him tonight, as we come humbly and, and, and requesting him to be in the midst of the service. So we thank God right now, where the word of God said, where two or more are touching and agreeing that he's there in the midst. Lord, we thank you that you come in right now. Lord Jesus, you say, everyone who seeks shall find, everyone who knocks the door shall be open. Lord, we're knocking right now for the presence of the Lord to manifest right now to be a blessing unto everyone who comes, Lord Jesus, seeking you, they shall find you, knocking for your will to be open into their life, God. So we thank you right now for the woman of God that's going to bring the word forth tonight. We ask you to cover her with the blood of Jesus, anoint her lips, God. Let those with an ear hear with us, saith the Lord, Lord. We want her to be encouraged, Lord Jesus. Strengthen, Lord, give a double portion of favor tonight, Lord, that she will be able to bring forth that word that will be anointed word unto the people. So Lord, we thank you right now as we receive this word, as you honor and bless this occasion, Lord Jesus, the Holy Ghost shift will take place this week, God. All eight nights will be blessed. All eight nights we decree and declare that the will of the Lord will be going forth. Lord, we thank you right now, Lord Jesus, that you, Lord Jesus, said, Lord Jesus, in your word, Lord Jesus, be ye renewed daily by renewing of your mind. So every day, Lord Jesus, you will renew our mind, bring forth wisdom, knowledge, and Lord, give us complete understanding. So Lord, we thank you for victory over this conference. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Have your way today, God. Bless the speaker. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Amen. For that powerful prayer. Again, we would like to welcome you to our eight night online revival. I want to ask you to do me a favor, please. Please share this broadcast. Share this broadcast in your groups. Share this broadcast in Messenger. Share it on your timeline. Hey, share it on someone else's timeline. Amen. Tag someone. Amen. So that the word of God can go forward. Amen. We just thank you for everyone that is joining right now. Before the, um, the speaker comes on, I have just a little bit of announcements that I want to give before we go into our program on tonight. Amen. Amen. Just take your attention to the screen. Amen. Right here, you can see our fresh wind, fresh fire, the theme of Holy Ghost shift, and the scripture reference text is coming from Acts 1 and 8. Amen. A Holy Ghost shift. Leading us off tonight is Evangelist Barbara Hunter out of South Carolina. On tomorrow night, you will hear from none other than our very own Dr. Albert Umston out of North Carolina. On Tuesday, you will hear from Pastor B. Sosi right here out of Tampa, Florida. On Wednesday, which is October 27th, Minister Everett Mills, a lot of you know him as Eternity. He will be bringing forth the word out of Vero Beach, Florida on Thursday, October 28th. Apostle Lenny Royal out of Vero Beach, Florida, will be bringing forth the word on Friday, October the 29th. It will be something different for you guys. Amen. It will be a tag team with Dr. Abba Armston and no other than our very own Bishop Milton Mills. On Saturday will be myself. Amen. And Sunday closing it all down, October 31st is Bishop Milton Mills out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Amen. We are having another Zoom press shutting in Friday, November the 19th, 2021. If you have missed the Zoom press shut-ins that we've been having 
all year. It started last year, a man during the pandemic, and we just keep we're just keeping on going. Amen. We will be starting at 10 p.m. and it goes until 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you need the Zoom ID information, you can email us at ob one ministries at gmail.com. Amen. Don't miss it. We also have Bible study on Wednesdays at 8 Eastern Standard Time, hosted by Obi Wan Global Movement. The conference number is 848-220-3300. The access code is 334-1266. All are welcome to join us. Amen. We also have 12 midnight prayer, Wednesday and Friday. It's a clarion call for prayer right now at midnight. You can dial 848-220-3300, assets code 334-1266, and that is hosted by God's Miracle Prayer Line. We are still doing the free Bible mission over in Pakistan, Obi-Wan Global Ministries International Pakistan. If you would like to uh, join in with this mission, you can go right ahead. You can send a dollar, 50 cent, doesn't matter of the size, but we are trying to get Bibles over into Pakistan. The national head of Pakistan is Reverend David John. Obi-Wan Global Ministry has a web app. If you would like to stay connected with the movement, text O-B-I-O-N-E right now, 227126, to receive the app and to stay connected with the movement. We also have Noonday Prayer by For Greater Works is He Ministries. You can contact 848-220-3300. The access code is 9343884 pound. Amen. If you are looking for a church home down in the Inner River County, Girl Beach, Gifford, Florida, Fort Pierce, uh, Stewart, Martin County, uh, White Way, whatever, wherever you down on the down south, amen. East Coast, Stretch Coast area. New Generation Apostolic Holiness Church will welcome you with open arms. Their Sunday school starts at 10 a.m., morning worship at 11.30 a.m. The address is 1916 27th Avenue, Vero Beach, Florida, 32960. Amen. Where the senior pastor is Bishop Milton Mills, along with his beautiful wife, Lady Carolyn Mills. Amen. Amen. To God be all the glory. I want to do something a little bit different. Amen. On tonight. Um, I want my uh, uh, apostle uh, Lenny to come and give an encouraging word to the people of God. Amen. Before we bring on the uh, messenger for the hour. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God. Amen. Hallelujah for what he's doing. Amen. And while we're waiting on her, amen, to come, amen, to give an encouraging word, I'm going to ask Pastor B to give an encouraging word to the people of God on tonight, amen, hallelujah, before we bring on our messenger for the hour, people need encouragement, they need, amen, they're looking for uh, encouraging words in this hour, so what would it be that you encourage the people in God on tonight, Pastor B, amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I just want everyone to be encouraged. We're living in a time of shifting, a time of change, a time that things seem a little peculiar. So we know that God is able to take care of all things. He said, all things through Christ who strengthens me. So know that God is able to take care of every situation that you are going through. I thank God for this Holy Ghost shift conference because God is telling you right now that the shifting that's taking place, it is a 
of him. It is God that is able. It is God that will take care of all things. When God was on the cross and from noon to, to, to three o'clock in the afternoon, he said it is finished at three o'clock. And that was finished for COVID-19, cancer, ca uh, all the kidney disease and all the different uh, viruses that are going around. God said it is finished, but we're going to have to believe it to receive it. So as we go in, I want everyone to be in carriage. No matter what you are going through, there is yeah. a shift taking place and God is able. So you're going to have to know that if you call on the Lord, lean not to your own understanding, lean on to God in everything that you're going through. Know that he will carry you through. The word of God tells you to cast your cares on him. So today I just will advise everyone to put your cares on the altar today. Leave them there and walk away. Allow God to take care of everything. Yeah. So I just thank you today for shifting with God. Shift in the season of shift. Shift to know that the changes took in place. Shift to know that when God said in Isaiah 26, 20, that he told you to go in your house and be still until his indignation passes. This is the time of that shifting. This is the time where God is having the God season. So we're in a God season. So let the shift of God take place in your life and to know that he is able to take care of everything, no matter what it is, he is able. He is a healer. He is your Jehovah, Jeho mm, Jehovah Jireh, your provider. He will provide anything that you need. So God be the glory to God, be the glory and the honor and take care of yourself. Have self-care. That's my word for you today. Take care of yourself. Know that you can be able to witness, receive and win yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a powerful word of encouragement on tonight. Amen. Apostle Lenny Royer. Amen. Apostle Lenny Royer. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know if she can hear me, but I'm going to go ahead and do our introduction of the speaker on tonight. We have coming before you a very powerful woman of God. Amen. I've been knowing her for a, a long time. Amen. She came on God, uh, God's Milk of Prayer Line. That's how we met on God's Milk of Prayer Line. She's been to um, some of our conferences that we've had here in the Tampa Bay area. Um, she lives out in South Carolina. She has a um, son that lives right here in the Tampa Bay area. And she also is the caretaker of her son that lives with her. Amen. And she has a daughter and many grandchildren. Amen. Like I said, a very powerful woman of God. She is a teacher. Amen. She's a very anointed teacher. See, sometimes I'm going to tell you this right here. You got to be anointed to teach the word, amen. Now you got the preachers and you have the teachers. Then you have the, pro the prophets, you have the apostles, but you got to be anointed to be able to teach the unadulterated word of truth. And that is what this woman of God is going to bring to you on tonight. Remember, the theme is a Holy Ghost shift. And we are coming from Acts 1 and 9. I am introducing to you all right now, Evangelist Barbara Hunter out of South Carolina. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let them use you. Let them use you, God, Mom. Let them use you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Um, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to um, stand before you and, and just give you the word as it has been given to me, praise God. And I just want to give an honor to, to God. I give an honor to Christ and I give an honor to the Holy Ghost. I give an honor, praise God, to Pastor Obi, who is my goddaughter, but she is also my mentor. 
And I just thank God for her. I give an honor to the bishops and pastors and ministers, praise God, that um, are with us this evening. And I just thank God again for this is a privilege to be able to stand before you. Um, God, I just thank you and I just praise you. As I decrease in self, Lord, I know that I will increase in you. So use me, those, Lord God, that, that may hear this, Lord God, that, that are, are, are blinded and, and have scales over their eyes. Remove, Lord God, those spiritual scales and, and open up those different ears in the name of Jesus. Those, Lord God, that may not have really had an understanding of what it means, Lord God, to be immersed in the Holy Ghost. This night, this evening, this week, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, open up their mind of understanding. Give them godly, Lord God, understanding and knowledge, Lord God, of the Holy Spirit and wisdom and how, Lord God, they should live and walk in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear God. Now, I would be, this is it's eight nights. I thought it was seven, but um, starting off the first night, um, it would be really um, remiss of me to start this week off, to start this first night off um, by not addressing the general framework um, referencing the Holy Ghost, referencing the Holy Spirit, and, and, and our expectation for a fiery, for a, a powerful, for a supernatural working of the Holy Ghost with his shifting, uh, with the Holy Ghost, with the shifting, the shifting, the shifting, the shifting taking place starting this night, the shifting taking place throughout next week, the shifting taking place in our lives, even following. I just thank God. God is the source of all, of all powerful things. He revealed himself in a way to us that we'd understand. You see, John 1, 14 tells us, says, and the word was made flesh, praise God, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten son of the father, full of grace and truth. You see, Jesus Christ is the physical manifestation of God. Jesus Christ is the word. Jesus Christ is wisdom. Jesus Christ is power, the power of God, as well as the only way to God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of God. You see the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is our power line. Jesus, as I said, I would be remiss not to, to discuss this first night, the framework. Jesus Christ is our advocate. Jesus Christ is our lawyer in God's courtroom. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is the fathers and the sons. Now hear me, is the fathers and the sons advocate to us in our daily lives. When we walk about, when we talk about our life, um, in Christ, um, we have to also be, be aware that we're talking about the life in the spirit, the life in the Holy Spirit. Spirit of our ascended Christ, those of us that, that are saved and living for the Lord, spirit of our ascended Christ, praise be to God, is in us right now as the Holy Spirit. And that's something that we have to get in our spirit. You see, in the old days, uh, reading back in the, in, according to the Old Testament, before Christ, um, servants of God, were, they were prophets, they were priests, they were kings. And it was, it was through them that these functions 
when it comes to, to certain offices and, 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 and ruling over people and that, that the people knew the will of God. They knew the will of God by way of kings, priests, and prophets. Now, the kings were the ones the kings acquired and, and they maintained um, the earthly dominion of, this, of, of, the, of, of the nation, whichever nation it was over. The priests, there were intercessors who offered up sacrifices and offerings on the behalf of the people. The priests stood before God as advocates of the people. The priests, a, a, another man, human being, another person such as us stood in a gap for us. They were our advocates before God on our behalf. Now, prophets in the New Testament, and we have prophets of today, the prophets, advocates for God, they were God's messengers, or they are God's messengers. They spoke and speak for God. It was important for them to always know God's mind. And, 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 and just give that a thought, prophets. It's important for them to always know the mind and heart of God for this nation, for this world, for their community, for their church, even individually. But it's important for them to always be in that place and that have an ear to hear what thus saith the Lord. It's important for them to be in the position, for them to position themselves to know the mind and the heart of God, still relevant today. But you see, now we have a new covenant. No priest, no one else has to intercede or advocate for us before God. The word lets us know that, that, that we are citizens, praise God, of a spiritual kingdom, a kingdom that is superior to any and to all earthly dominions. This is from the word. Christ is our king. Jesus Christ, new covenant, is our high priest and has provided us with a, a, a measure, now listen to me, has provided us with a measure to manifest the kingdom of God here on earth. When we say, Lord God, your kingdom come, your will be done on this earth. Your kingdom come, your will be done in my life. Do, do you know what you're asking? Your kingdom come and your will be done. And it's just something that's coming just from you, the new covenant. Um, John 4, 24. John 24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit, praise be to God, and in truth. Which means that we're worshiping God in the power of God. Come on now. We're worshiping in the power of, of God's spirit. We are worshiping um, according to God's word. We're worshiping according to the truth. Praise be to yeah. God. Thank you, Jesus. Um, excuse me, everyone. We're worshiping, worshiping, praise God, according to the truth of God's word. And you see, this is, it, it is something that's important for the prophets. In order for them to always be in the position and place to know the heart and mind of God, come on now, in order for them, Okay, they have to worship him, all worship him, the, be in prayer, be watchful always in and out of season, praise be to God, worshiping him in spirit and worshiping him in truth, praise God. It's the spirit of God that gives, um, it's the spirit of God that, that, that gives birth, that's giving birth to our spirit. The word tells us what is um, born of the spirit is 
is provide when it's born of the spirit, the spirit provides a, a reflection um, on on the scriptures that as it pertains to our life as we are walking in those scriptures, as we are walking and living, praise God in that truth. Walk by the spirit and you will not carry on the desires of your flesh. I'm, I'm, now I'm going somewhere. Come on. <laughs> I am going somewhere. Walk by the spirit and you will not carry out the desires, the, the, the tendencies of your flesh. You see, human tendencies um, is a desire. We, uh, if we walked by our human tendencies, um, praise God, we would be walking by and doing things um, that's forbidden by the word of God. We would be functioning in a, um, an unregenerated state. You hear me now? Yeah. We would be functioning in a unregenerated shit, um, state if we did not walk by the spirit and we carried out those things that's in us, those fleshly desires, those fleshly desires. What we have to do is is, is look towards as, as we read and as we study and as we labor before the Lord is, is, is look from the perspective, praise God, of, of heaven, of heavenly places to, to be um, operative, Lord God, in us. We, we, we are to come when it comes to our life and the way we walk and talk according, Lord God, to a heavenly perspective. We are to live from a spiritual mindset we are to be able to recognize the devil's agenda we are to be able to 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 wage victorious warfare yes the word lets us know that this battle is uh, is against praise god um, a spiritual kingdom, a spiritual kingdom that looks to dominate spirituality, a, a spiritual kingdom that's looking to tear down and to kill and destroy the things of God and the people of God. Mm -hmm. So we have to always come from a spiritual perspective and, and have a spiritual kingdom mindset. One John, in one John, the third chapter says, when um, whoever keeps the commandments remain, praise God, in God and God in him. And by this, we know that he remains in us by the spirit he has given us. Whosoever keeps the commandments of God. Now, that's something to think about. Whosoever mm -hmm. keeps his commandments remains in God and God in him. So then think about it. But suppose I don't. Suppose I do follow after um, my own desires, my own fleshly wants and, and needs. Is, is God in me? Am I in him? And I'm just leaving you with that thought. Romans 8, 5 says, for if for if ye live after the flesh, okay, ye shall die. If ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. My Lord. Think about it. But ye, but ye though the spirit, praise God, do um the word do it. Come on, Holy Ghost, mortify. The deeds of the body, ye shall live. In the realm of the spirit, praise be to God, is the spirit of God. And that's why kingdom mindset, spiritual mindset, living from a spiritual perspective. Because in the realm of the spirit, praise God, is the spirit of God. And that's in the spirit of God is alive in us. 
We can't please God if we're living in, in the realm of the flesh. That's what this is saying. Our focus should our focus should not be on how to gratify this flesh because fleshly um, flesh desires is contrary. That's contrary to the spirit. Fleshly desires is contrary to the Holy Spirit. Contrary to the truth. We worship God in spirit and in truth. Spirit and in truth. You see the, the Holy Spirit. Now, now listen, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Right there is telling us. The Holy Spirit is holy. The Holy Spirit does not dwell intimately in the presence of sin. I just went over scriptures. There are people who are praying for the infilling of the Holy Ghost. My Lord. They're filled God. with so much other stuff mm. that it, 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 there's no room for anything, it, especially come from their mindset, because you have to have a mind, a mind to want to. Lord, I need help here. I want the Holy Ghost. A little personal testimony. I got saved on a Wednesday over the telephone. I was not in a church. I wasn't at a Bible meeting. The spirit of God, do you hear me? The Holy Spirit. I'm going to tell you, so I know God is real and I know about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wooed me with the word of God. Mm. Um, it had been years since I had opened up a Bible. And I was doing my own little thing. And the Holy Spirit, I was, was sitting one day, doing washing dishes, doing something. And, and this dropped like in my mind, like, like somebody was talking in my head. Mm, your self-righteousness are as filthy rags. And, and it was not verbatim scripture, but, but this exactly it had came to me. Your self-righteousness. Are like are as filthy rags. All that good you doing? It's just like it's um they like the wind blowing the leaves and scattering them all about. They're not gathering up into any place, and it, it don't mean anything. Just like that. And in my spirit, I I, I got to like looking around, and the next thing, if you offend one point of the law, you might as well offend them all. I have no respect to person. You see, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit wooed me. Mm -hmm. When I got that word, I went and found that old Bible. Mm -hmm. I had shared it with my God, with um, Pastor Obi. I went and got that Bible and, 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 and went in the back in the concordance, at looking up leaves and wind and righteousness and et cetera. Because, like I said, I had not opened the Bible in a while. And I'm going to stand here and be honest. I was not familiar with the scriptures. You see, that's how I know it was the Holy Ghost. That's how I know it was the Holy Spirit. Because it was scriptures that I was not in my spirit. Okay, my fleshly mind aware of. And so when I went got the concordance and I started looking up some words, let me tell you something. I knew I called up somebody on the telephone and I said, I think I got to get saved. Jesus. Okay. She, the girl led me to the Lord over the telephone. After that, now, she said, I, I said, you know, I said, I think I need the Holy Ghost. So she says to me, Barbara, she said, we having a, um, a young people revival. She said, come on down to your church the weekend, Friday. Now, Wednesday, I accepted Christ over the telephone after the Holy Spirit wooed me. I'm going to tell you something. I did not have a mind. I hadn't been to church. I'm in Newark, New Jersey, doing my thing, mm. happy in self, mm -hmm. okay? And see, God know our beginning, middle, and end. And with everything in me, I really believe that something was coming and God wanted me to be in the position where I would not be destroyed, where I would not be taken out of here. Jesus. Where I would have a mind, praise be to God, not to be in that place that I would have been in if the Holy Ghost had not 
wooed me. So that Friday, I went to the, um, to the church and this is it's me, everybody hollering and jumping up and down and praying and praising. But before I got there, I prayed. And I'm like, Lord, I need the Holy Ghost because from what I remember, you hear me now, going to church younger, from what I remember, the Holy Ghost will lead and guide and teach. Praise be the God. And, and, I, and just went on and on and on. So then I go to the meeting. Sister Gwen tells me, said, Barbara said, now come on now, praise him, because everybody's jumping up and hollering and carrying on. And I'm sitting there and I was very reserved and I'm sitting and I had on all white and I was not going to holler and shout. I was not going to jump up and down because I did not want to sweat. <laughs> okay. I was not going to mess up my makeup. I turned around and looked at her and I said, I hear you. Like that. I said, I hear you. Uh, you know, and, and then clapping my little pretty hands. It was all like Somebody was on this side and another person was like, it was, it was nobody, but I could feel praise be to God, my body being lifted up or out of that pew, like my body was being lifted and I was being guided, glory, hallelujah, to the altar. And, and when I got to that altar, all I, re I remember that I, I was hollering, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you about being immersed, praise be the God in the Holy Ghost. Mm. My, my spirit, I was in the midst, like I, I left myself. I saw my body at the altar with my hands raised, but I was in a field of nothing but flowers. Newness. Mm. Do you hear me? I was in a, it planted in a field. I was immersed in a field of nothing but glorious. Oh my God, my God. The, 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 the scent of nothing but flowers. When my spirit, and yes, I'm saying this, my spirit, when the spirit returned to, to my body, Glory be to God. I, mean, I, I think that I hollered more and, 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 and spoke in tongues louder than anybody else in that church during that service. And I was the one that had the attitude saying, he hear me. <laughs> by the time God got finished with me, by the time the Holy Ghost, that white suit was soaking wet, the makeup that had rolled down my eyes. But glory be to God, what an experience. My God, my God, immersed in the whole. See, I was serious when I said, I like with everything in me, because see, who we, the word of God lets, tells us that, that we, only, we really don't know ourselves and the things that we might do, might not do, but we have a good idea. We have a very good idea. The word lets us know that only God knows the heart and mind of man. But we have an idea of what we may do and what we may not do. And so I knew that I needed the spirit of God. I knew that I needed the spirit of God. See, it's, it's, it's the responsibility of the Holy Spirit to, 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 to speak um, the heart and the mind of God. The Holy Spirit to speak the heart and the mind of God to us. All things, everything that pertain, praise be to God, to Christ, will be made, made known to us by way of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will speak to us those things, praise God, that, that God wants us to know. Come on now. So it is extremely important for us to, to learn, to learn God's voice, to know, praise be to God, the characteristics, to, to know the personality, to know the Holy Spirit, to, to, to learn God's voice and, and how to fellowship with them. 
a, a purpose, praise God, of the a power of the Holy Spirit is, is to supply, praise be to God, us with personal guidance, to guide us. And you see, that's what I know. I knew that that's what I needed. Because me and myself, praise God, would, would um, kind of, I mean, the, yes, the Holy Ghost wooed me, but I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost wooed me and I need the Holy Ghost to keep me. Acts 1 and 8 says that we shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes upon us. We shall be witnesses, Lord God, unto God, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of this earth, United States of America, Africa. When shall we receive power? After the Holy Ghost comes. After the Holy Ghost comes. Um, Acts 2, in Acts 2.28, X228 says, praise God. Um, X238, um, Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for forgiveness of your sins, and, and you will receive the Holy Spirit. And, 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 and some people think this, that's just it. Okay, Lord, forgive me, you know, for everything I'm doing, I have done, and and okay, I'm getting baptized. I have known people that have baptized baptismal parties. They accept Christ. They have a baptismal party. And they party too. <laughs> After being baptized, that's why it is so important, praise God, for us to, to stay before the Lord, to, to knowing the mind and heart of God. And we find that out by reading his word and meditating on his word and, and studying and, and, and just sitting and, and having some quiet time with the Lord, praise God, so that he can speak into our spirit. The word of God says that, that the Holy Ghost will, will lead us. Again, the Holy Ghost will guide us. The Holy Ghost is our comforter. Who, praise God, is, is, is aware, the Holy Ghost is aware of everything about our life, everything going on in our life, the challenges, praise God, those things that we may face, have to face. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is aware. You see, the word lets us know, yes, yes, that, that he was there in eternity with God the Father. He's aware of our life from, from conception to eternity. Yes, yes, yes. The Holy Ghost is not timid. Because See, we're talking about the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God is not afraid of anything. Praise be to God. And the Holy Spirit Listen to me now, it's our power, is our power over the devil. Genesis 1 and 2 says, the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. The Holy Spirit was there from the beginning. Zechariah, praise God, 4 and 6, um, says to us, says, Zechariah says, not by my might, nor by my power but by the spirit, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. You see, this was regarding the task that, he, that Zechariah was given when he came to making um, the tabernacle in the wilderness. Zechariah knew that, that he couldn't just go out there and do it on his own. We're talking about measurements and people. And you know, he knew that he needed the Holy Spirit. And so he said, not by might nor by power, praise God, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Um, in Micah, praise God, um, 3, 8 says, but truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might 
to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. You see, Michael, he had a, 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 an assignment. And, and he, by him not trusting in himself and his own um, self-sufficiency, and I'm going to do this, and, and it's all about me, and I'm going forth, and I'm going to tell them what they're doing is wrong, and, 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 and I'm going to speak some words of cursing over them um, because they live in this lifestyle. Mm-mm, mm-mm. He says, but truly, I am full, praise God, full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord, by the, not self, by the Spirit of the Lord. In the Nekodoroso Yeko Bakasanda, he, Michael, was possessed, Handoroso Kobakasanda, with sufficient, adequate, praise be to God, abilities to go forth and to be used by God, not of himself, but to be used by God. He, he had the courage, praise be to God, and, and the wisdom because of the spirit of God and, and the discernment of truth and, and the ability to discernment the things, Lord God, that was in error, praise be to God. He was not fearful of man. He went boldly. Why and how? Because of the power of the spirit of God. He went forth boldly, openly, freely, praise God, to declare unto Jacob his transgressions. This is the word, praise be to God, and to Israel, Lord God, his sin. He was led by the Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit. See, we are to bless and we are to honor the Holy Ghost. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, our power over the power of the devil from hell, praise God, is in the Holy Spirit. I know I keep going back and forth. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, one and the same. Spirit of God. There, there it, 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 it exists people who, who forsaken the counsel of the Holy Ghost. The, the spirit of God and, 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 and gone after things of this world, trusting in, 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 in things that, that have no life in them, no longer trust in God. Mm, 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 mm. There will be a change when immersed in the Holy Ghost, when, when, when trusting in the Holy Ghost, when knowing who you are in God, who God is in you, when knowing, praise be to God, the function, the purpose of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm, 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 mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There will be a change, a change from the old to the new, even more so a change, a change, a change, a change, a, even more so when you're immersed in the Holy Ghost. There will be a shifting, yes, there will be a shifting from external, yes, to the, the internal work of God. There will be a shifting, a shifting, a shifting. When immersed in the Holy Ghost, it can't help but to be a transformation in your life. When immersed in the Holy Ghost, oh my God, when the Spirit of God rests upon you, you cannot help but grow in the fruit of the Spirit. Yes, 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 yes. When immersed in the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Spirit, praise God, come upon you. Oh my God, you will, you will have an increased desire or, or a desire to do ministry, an increased hunger for more of God, a deeper revelation. You be, oh God, I need to understand more. Open up your word. Lord, I want to know the deeper things of you. Oh my God, you have a mind, a mind for a deeper revelation, a deeper understanding when it comes to the word of God, when it comes to your purpose, when it comes, praise be to God, your life. Oh my God, my God, my God, my wonderful savior. Mm, 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 mm. You will not be enslaved by fear. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You will walk in that. 
you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt. The word says that God come not to give us spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Love, love, power, power, sound mind, sound mind, no fear, no fear. In the name of Jesus. You see, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost empowers. This is what the Holy Ghost does. The Holy Spirit renews. The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. The Holy Spirit anoints, praise be to God. The Holy Spirit, yes, Lord, bears fruit. The Holy Spirit makes intercession. The Holy Spirit illuminates our mind. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The Holy Spirit gives a joy. The Holy Holy Spirit, oh my God, the Holy Spirit gives you discernment, oh my God, the Holy Spirit sanctifies, yes, 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 oh, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit, now listen to me, Jesus, 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 oh my God, I'm going to carry a secret so Jacob Cassandra. Now, I want you to notice now, the Holy Spirit can be resisted in Acts, Lord God, to chapter 7, stick necks, all stick necked and deaf to the truth, resisting the Holy Spirit, resisting the Holy Spirit. All right, there, Lord, in itself, let us know that the Holy Spirit can be resisted. The Holy Spirit can be grieved. Oh my God, don't give God's Holy Spirit any reason to be upset. Jesus, 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 to be upset with you. You say he has put his seal on you for the day you will be saved. Set free, set free from this world of sin. The word says, don't give the Holy Spirit a reason to be upset. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Oh my God, we can quench, you can quench the Spirit. Oh my God, in 1, one Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, tells us, oh Jesus, paraphrasing, but not to smother, not to smother the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Oh Jesus, 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 don't smother it. Jesus, don't smother it. We can quench it. In the name of Jesus, we are to go forth. And do ministry. We are to pray. Oh my God, if our prayer life, oh Jesus, have just slacked up, we're spending more time in front of the TV. We're spending more time, hallelujah, reading some other than the word of God. We're spending more time on the telephone. Oh Jesus, we're smothering. Do you hear me now? You're smothering the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. If you try to get away uh, from ministry, uh, you're smothering uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, oh, my God, my God. Uh, now, let me tell you, uh, so, uh, you can sin uh, against the Holy Spirit. Uh, Matthew 12, uh, hundred, oh, the 31st um, verse uh, says, Wherefore I say unto you, uh, oh, Jesus, 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 uh, wherefore I say unto you, uh, all manner of sin uh, and blasphemy uh, shall be forgiven uh, unto uh, unto men, uh, unto us, uh, but uh, 
blaspheming, oh Jesus, 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 against the Holy Spirit. Yes, 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 will not be forgiven. Oh my God, my God. So let you can resist, you can grieve, you can quench, and you can, oh my God, my God, my God, quench sin against the Holy Spirit. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now, 1 Samuel 16, oh my God, lets us know that the Holy Spirit, yes, can depart. You see, it tells us that the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Oh my God, which came, oh, the he upon him, oh, when he was both first made king. Oh, yes, and con continued with him until this time. You see, the spirit of God was once upon, oh my God, King Saul. But when you read this, oh, the word is letting us know that the spirit of the Lord, oh, the Holy Spirit can, will, Depart, depart. And it also says that an evil spirit, oh my God, God allowed it. An evil spirit from Satan troubled him, came upon him, where he was stirred up with Earl. Um, earthly uh, and, and, and worldly uh, um, desires uh, and passions. Oh my God, now how did this come about? Uh, you see, uh, as David uh, started to become elevated uh, in the things of God, uh, oh my God, uh, that happens today. Uh, oh, King Saul uh, became jealous, uh, became envious. Uh, and God knew uh, his heart. God knew uh, the spirit of God. Uh, oh, my God, my God, uh, what he was feeling. Uh, and God also knew uh, what he was planning. Uh, and in this day and time, uh, oh, my God, my God, when the word says, touch not mine anointed, uh, do my prophet no harm, uh, that also includes uh, when you see somebody uh, being elevated in Christ, uh, when you see someone, uh, oh my God, uh, feeling passionate, uh, oh, uh, and they have outstretched arms, uh, use me, God, uh, send me, God, uh, oh, the uh, just pray for them, uh, pray God use them, uh, God send them, uh, God use them, uh, because uh, you don't want uh, to experience uh, what Saul experienced in the Nerea Sikoro, so Jesus, 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 uh, oh my. My God, my God, we're talking about the Holy Spirit this week, the next seven days. Oh, Jesus, 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 we are calling for an awakening, awakening of our spirit man in the name of Jesus. We are looking, oh my God, we are seeking, we're expecting, yes, Lord, a Holy Spirit shifting, a Holy Ghost, a Holy Spirit revolution in the name of Jesus, a Holy Spirit shift. Oh, yes, so radical. Oh, my God. Also, that the devil's demonic strategies, you hear me now? Oh, Jesus, are discounted, are demolished. And destroyed. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My God, my God. Oh my God, doing doing the shifting. Oh yes, the, the Holy Spirit shifting. Yes, we will readily handle it also demonstrate 
power, 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 power straight from God. Power, power, because of the God that's in us, because of the Spirit of God, because of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We will readily demonstrate, oh my God, powerful, power, power, power to tread on those serpents and scorpions. Power to cast out those demons and devils. Power, power over sickness and disease. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Power, power, power. Don't miss power. Do you hear me now? We will be walking and working and speaking. Oh, my God. In the energy of God himself. In the name of Jesus. And we will know what beyond a shadow of a doubt. No harm will come against us. Oh my God. No harm will come against our dwelling. With the Spirit of God. Oh, the Holy Spirit. My God, the Holy Spirit. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Flowing through your life. Oh my God. Oh my God, my God. The supernatural natural power the supernatural is flowing so your him is weak we're talking about a shift Oh my God. Oh, starting this day, expect a shift. Oh, supernatural power. Yes, God, that the world, that the world don't understand. Oh my God, we will have supernatural bonus with this supernatural power. We'll be like Michael. Oh, my, like Micah, my God, my God. You see, it's not me, but it's the God in me. It's the Holy Spirit that's leading and guiding. It's the Holy Spirit that's bringing to me just what God wants me to do. Just where God wants me, praise be to God, to be. Just who God wants me to speak to. Whose life, oh, my God, will I have a supernatural impact. Oh my God on this world. Oh my God, with the shifting, with the shifting of the Holy Spirit. So this week, I'm telling you now, don't miss, don't miss a night. Come, come expecting, come expecting another shift, a higher shift, 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 shift. Yes, yes, God. Now, doing this shift during this week. Oh my God, you might go through uh, attacks, attacks straight from the devil of hell. But I want you to remember this. Oh my God, as you labor during the day, as you're faced with trials, greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. Greater, greater, greater is the Holy Spirit that is within me. Oh my God, for the Holy Spirit has power over the devil. And the word lets me know that the devil is Jesus Christ footstool. The devil is our footstool because of the God in us. Because praise be the God of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we are more than conquerors because of Christ who lives in us. We are more than conquerors because of Christ. Oh my God, my God, who gave his life for us. Oh, who promised, who promised the disciples. My God, my God, a comforter. Do you hear me now? A comforter. And I'm positive that you're going to hear more about this promise this coming week. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
he let the disciples know, oh, you will not be left alone. You will not be left alone, alone, alone. Now, let me tell you, the devil will wage war. Oh, the devil will try to wear you down because the little demons, they sitting around. Oh, they know, oh, my God, that the word is going forth this week uh, and the focus is uh, Holy Spirit ship oh Jesus do not give up do not give in remember in Christ Christ is in us the spirit of God lives in us we are fighting oh yes we are the good fight of faith oh God and as we do it it takes for a holy God Ghost shift as we fight. Oh my God, it takes for a Holy Spirit shift shifting higher of the Holy Spirit for the supernatural working of God to manifest. That's what we're looking for. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So don't miss out in the name of Jesus. Don't miss out. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Um, let me tell you something. I got a little testimony. We're going over a little bit. It's only going to take five minutes about a Holy Ghost shift. Me and this sister, we had a hospital ministry. We would get together every other day. We would pray. We would go to the hospital and we would randomly they listening to me, randomly going to different rooms and ask people if we could pray with them. You know, we'd speak a word over them from the scriptures, you know, and, and, and what, if, what I'm saying, what God gives us. This particular time, we were supposed to go to the hospital. This had, had never happened to me before. We was going to the hospital, and the sister called me up, and she says, Sister Barbara, she said, I can't come um, today, tonight. She said, I have to work late, but I'll meet you at the hospital tomorrow morning. So I said, well, okay, that's fine. So I'm sitting there, and I got the Bible open. I'm like, now, now this is me always. Okay, Holy Ghost. Okay, not knowing, and I really didn't not knowing exactly what I was saying. Um, okay, Holy Ghost, what should I, I had prayer and I'm like, okay, Holy Ghost, what should I read? I went to one little section, blind Barnabas, and Christ said, according to your faith, you shall be healed. That's it. Let me tell you something. The spirit of, of sleep and heaviness, like I don't know what, came over me, like, I, it just came over me and 111 kept appearing. 111, 111. I went to sleep. The sister came by. She said, I got off early. She says, um, We can, you know, have prayer and read some scripture now. And I said, No, I said, um, We can't. I said, Because really, I said, The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost led me to a passage. I read it and I said, I'm tired, um, but we'll meet in the morning. And, and I could tell she was a little perturbed by, you know, me not, <clears throat> but I was being led by the Holy Ghost. See, she didn't know that, by not wanting to have prayer and read a whole bunch of other scriptures. So we get to the hospital and we go in the little room, the chapel to have prayer. I'm down on my knees and I'm praying. And like somebody speaking in my head, so now, so now I want you to go to 111. And I jumped up. And I said, Zena, I said, we, we got to go to room 111. And she's just standing there looking at me. And I said, I'm telling you, 111. So she said, um, Sister Barbara, are you sure? So I said, 111. As we were going to room 111, a whole other end of the hospital, I find out that it is the children's ward, like the little children's ward. So we get on the elevator. And now, and I'm a this, and I'm a gun, just total honest. I'm like, okay, am I doing the right thing? One, one, one. Because see, it's the children, children's ward. So I'm saying, well, okay, God. Um, to myself, elevator stop. A young lady gets on the elevator that I partied with. I had not seen her for years, and she said, "Oh, Barbara Hunter." She said, "How you doing, girl? What you doing here?" 
And I said, let me tell you, bonus. I said, God sent me. She gave me this look. Zena gave me this look. I said, asked her, I said, well, you know what you doing? Where you going? She said, my daughter is here um, in the hospital. So I said, well, when we, after we leave, who we have to see, I'll come. I said, I hope you don't mind if I come by and see your daughter. She said, no. I said, which room is your daughter in? She said, room 111. Mm, 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 mm. Lord Jesus, asked, asked her, what's wrong? She said, my daughter is going blind. The little girl was 10 years old, had been to every special hospital in Philadelphia, all over the country. They couldn't fix anything, repair a site. So she was steadily going blind, but she was sick off the pregnancy, off the all the steroids they was giving her. When she said that, I said, your daughter, let me tell you, Holy Spirit shift, a shifting, praise be to God, was taking place. A shifting was taking place when the Holy Spirit led me just to that little passage about blind Barnabas, a shifting, a shifting, praise be to God, was taking place when I was obedient and went to room 111. Do you hear me now? A shifting. Let me tell you, a shifting. Yes, yes, we can all have a shifting. A shifting. Our Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, powerful, fiery, anointed shift. I go to room 111. They still looking at me like I lost my mind. I go up to the little girl. All I say is to her, I said, do you know who Jesus is? And childlike manner, she says, yes, I do. She said, my grandmama take me to church. I know about Jesus. I said, ask this baby. I said, do you believe that he can heal you? The baby said, yes, I do. I said to the little girl, you pray. You pray. Childlike, she prayed for healing. She acknowledged who Jesus Christ was and what she believed Jesus Christ could do. We left the hospital. Some time later, I'm sitting somewhere doing private duty and a woman walked in. I'm reading my Bible. The woman said to me, so you want them born again people? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, mm -mm -mm. she said, girl, she said, one of you people, let me tell you, God will let you know. She said, one of you people went to the hospital, prayed for my grandbaby, my grandbaby's sight has returned. Mm, mm, only God, only God. Let me tell you something. Holy Spirit shift. As the shifting takes place, and we are communicating with God. Holy Spirit shift. Power, power, power of the Holy Ghost. Power, power, power. With the Holy Ghost, you expect it this week. Don't miss a night. Come on now. Everybody not going to go over like I did, um, but please do not miss a night. Come expecting, come expecting newness. Come expecting, praise be to God, the more enlightenment when it comes to the spirit of God, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, Jesus, 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 come, come, come. I know that you want to want to be able to move, to move, Lord God, to move in this world of dunamis power, to move in this world, praise be to God, um, with the energy of God himself. You got to. You got to. Praise be to God. Come. Because we are talking about Holy Spirit shift. Shifting, 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 being taken higher, being taken deeper, deeper revelation of who God is, who we are because of the Holy Spirit in us. Praise be to God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is available to all. So if there's someone out there that has not been immersed, praise be to God. Now, remember, the Holy Spirit not dwelling where there is sin. This is the word. So, and I know some people that's doing all kind of stuff. And they'll tell you, stand up and testify in a minute. Now, thank God for I am filled. And they going right back out doing their thing. So, you, that's very questionable. Because that is not in line with the truth. Jesus. But, 
repent, accept. That's God that sanctified you, the holy that sanctified you from the things of this world. Mean it, mean it, and seek the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. 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 God, I thank you for you always at work. I thank you for you always here and nudging and propping and guiding and talking. And I just praise you and I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for your promised gift, your gift, Lord God, of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, Spirit of comfort. Thank you right now. You've promised never to leave us, forsake us. And we just praise your name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father God, we just pray virtue back into Avengers Barbara Hunter. God. Fill her up, God. God. What she poured out, God. Thank you. Replenish God. Restore God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. For a Holy Ghost still on tonight. Yes. God. Yes. Yes. In yes. the name of Jesus, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory mm. to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Consuming fire. Yes. yes God. You that showed up on tonight. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Mm. Glory mm. to mm. God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory mm. to God. Now mm. we're gonna mm. have. Amen. I will alter call. If there's anyone out there, amen, Jesus. that is wanting to give their lives over to God. Yes, right yes, now. yes, yes. This yes. is your opportunity right now. Come on, woman of God. Yes. Amen. Yes, it this is. is your opportunity. Yes, right it is. now. Yes, it is. I do to give your life over Jesus, to God. Don't Jesus, let it be Jesus, said Jesus. too late. Don't let it be dead too late. Hallelujah. Giving your life over to the Lord if those that have backslided. Amen. God is married to you. Yes, he is. This is an opportunity for you to give your life back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, Apostle Lenny Roy. Amen. Jesus. Our hallelujah altar call. Amen. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Thank Jesus. You. Hallelujah. You, God. You're muted. You're muted. I'm mute. Thank you, God. Glory be to God. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. Yes. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord, thank we thank you. We thank you tonight. We give you the praise. We thank you for such an awesome word, Father. We're doing the altar call right now. Whatever they're standing in need of, Father, we thank you for this Holy yes, Ghost. God. Father, I feel the ship. I feel, I feel the move of God. God, I feel you. How you shift me out of lacking into plenty right now. Father, we thank you. I decree and I declare blessings over your people. Those who are listening now, those who are on Facebook, Father, I decree and I declare that they Jesus. shall be saved. They shall come to you be delivered and their needs shall be met in the name of Jesus. In the Father, name of we Jesus. Thank you. We thank you today and give you the praise. Yes. And we give you the glory right now. Father, we thank you for such an awesome word. Father, we thank you for those who are listening now and who are going to listen later. Yes. Father, we thank you for the shout. The high glory. Oh, glory. Father, we thank you. Oh, glory. Father, we thank you right thank now you. for your deliverance thank power. You. Thank Father, you. we thank you for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes, yes, yes. to God. Hallelujah. It's a holy Hallelujah. ghost. Hallelujah. So we're going to yes. still. I know most shy of you. Thank you, God. dear God. Yes. In the God. name yes, of God. Jesus. Yes, God. 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 Yes, Hallelujah is going to bow. Yeah, yeah. God. 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 That he is Lord. Come on, here, Holy Ghost. Yeah, God. God. Yeah, God. Jesus, Jesus. Like all Jesus. Of you can, God. Heal like only you can. Only you. Men broken hearts. Like only you can, God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. God. In the name of Jesus. God. Jesus. 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 Jesus.
Oh my God, Jesus. Thank you, God. We're thanking you right now. And we're praising you right now. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for the Jesus. We thank you for the shift. Yes, In God. the yes, name God. of Jesus. Yes, God. Glory yes, to God. God. Hallelujah. There will yes, be no God. backlash or retaliation to no word or no prayer. It won't fall to the ground. Hallelujah. Jesus. It will do what it was sent to do. In Jesus' name. Come on, Bishop. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, Bishop. Yes, thank thank you, God. God. What a powerful word tonight. Jesus, I'm going to have to Jesus. maintain my and hold myself mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. After hearing that word, I want to preach now, but Jesus. I got to wait my turn <laughs> because she got me started when she said she's going to lay out the framework oh, no. for the shifting of the Holy Ghost. Yes, God. And then she said, in the framework that the the Holy Ghost is the power line hey! for our blessing. The yes, power yes, line yes, yes, yes. For our deliverance. It's the power line of the thing that God promised us. Yes. Which is the Holy Ghost. Amen. The shifting of the Holy Ghost. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to watch myself. Amen. Because that, 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 that was the word. Amen. Yes. I like Jesus, Jesus. And then knowing, and I agree. The, the framework of mm, all mm, our mm, situation, mm, the framework mm, of the Holy Ghost is to have the power if we're down to pick us up. The framework of the Jesus. Holy Ghost, if you need something, God will supply. Come on, the framework yes, he will. Of the yes. Holy yes, 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 yes. Oh, little boy, son. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonderful word. I love it. I'm ready. I'm excited. I feel the shift just listening to the framework. My, 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 my. I'm telling you. Come on here, Holy Ghost. Which is Thank the you, power line. Jesus. Blessing, which is the power line. Uh -huh. of my yes. Which is yes, the yes, power yes. Line of receiving the desires of my... Oh, okay, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey! All right, That's hey, all right. Woo! All right, I feel the shift. Glory be to God. Mm. Man, Amen. it was a shift. It was a shift. Yes, dear yes. God. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank, Amen. You. Thank you. Thank you, God. All right, now listen, guys. Now listen, we getting ready to go, right? So, but what I'm going to need everybody that is joining on Facebook, I'm going to need you all week to tag five women and five men that you know, that you know, that you know, <laughs> needs a Holy Ghost still. <laughs> Did you Come hear on, what man. I just said? I'm that you know, that you know, that you know, yes. I said I'm going to need everybody that is joining us on Facebook to tag five men and five women each night. Tag 10 people. That's five women and five men each night. God gave that to me while we was doing this framework. Amen. In this Holy Ghost ship. Hey, us. Tomorrow night, somebody touch your neighbor and say tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night we will have no other than our very own Dr. Albert Armstrong out of North Carolina telling us about a Holy Ghost shift. Amen. Yes. We love you, but we got to go, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.